And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puff Cap Plunder. Fun deck to play here. This is one that we've played a couple of times and I really like it because it has two of my favorite champions. We got Teemo and uh, focusing on the Puff Caps with Teemo, not just playing Teemo where we just like play it as an aggressive one drop and if they get a Puff Cap, we get lucky. But we're actually going to be focusing on the Puff Caps because we got Clump of Wumps, uh, Chump Wump, and puff cap peddler in here so we're doing all the puff cap stuff but then we combine that with the frelior card cards that i really like omen hawk starlet seer um and sejuani which is a great uh champion and the reason why we're calling this puff cap plunder is because sejuani has this this uh, level up that you've damaged the enemy nexus in five different rounds and each time that they draw a puff cap that does count as their nexus being damaged in that round so you can use your puff caps to level up your sejuani and then after you have a leveled up sejuani um whenever they draw a puff cap that would be them taking damage the first their enemy nexus taking damage for the first time each round and so it'll frostbite all their enemies as well so cool little combination here and then yeah we just have some some good value uh like good value two drop good value three drop with starlet seer or puff cap peddler if those can just stick out uh in play they can generate a lot of value over time and then we have card advantage with progress day at the top end so pretty sweet little deck here so let's go ahead and try it out we're gonna go play five games over in ranked like we always do so we got two two really good quality decks we've played before with Puff Cat Plunder and uh, Spooky Mage Seekers, those two to start with, and then two donation decks afterwards, so two viewer submitted decks uh, that viewers put together and donated for that haven't played yet that we're going to try out with Katarina Shen and Fiora Vi. And the Fiora Vi list is not, not Bannerman, it's it's similar to the Bannerman deck, but it just it doesn't have Bannerman has a few more uh, spells um, to kind of reward the challenger aspects of Fiora and Vi. Come closer. I don't bite. Okay. Let's just thermogenic beam this Elise right away. Even though of course it would be nice to have the Starlet Seer out first, but then it kinda of gets messy. They get they they have the attack token, all that kind of stuff. We don't know, I, I don't know what else is in their hand, but that probably should be a block. Probably. Hmm. I guess they can't have Blighted Caretaker. I don't have to worry about that. I'll just go Starlet's here. Should have held a mystic shot. Yeah, should have held a mystic shot to kill this ravenous butcher and then just take five. Gonna play Teemo. I mean, they were definitely attacking. I, I could have waited and played Teemo post combat. Didn't need to immediately. I'm sorry, Timo. Let's see. Do I discard Mystic Shot? I need. I'm killing the Callista. No, I just discard Teemo. Even though it pains me to do it. 
Alright, we're gonna be able to have a big Teemo if we want. Um, or we could just go Sejuani. And nothing wrong with a big Sejuani. Let's see, it's a 9. So next turn we're gonna have 10. You own what you take. So we won't be able to Battle Fury and play Peddler. No! Two teamos are gone. Which is sad. Block. We're in a battle fury. Nine damage in. Nothing escapes my Dang, I got a lot of card advantage, which isn't the worst with me having. Puff caps, you know, giving them puff caps. So kind of need to give them more puff caps. What's up, Kordak? I don't like that card. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Navarosa's name. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I haven't played any chess in a long time either. I wish I would have discarded the Mystic Shop before, not the Teemo. So we have a little bit of a chance. I'm a meddler, not a meddler. Leave no survivors. All right, so basically, show them our team. I should I should just block. I should have blocked the day to endure. Yeah, I should be blocking the Vega in there. Only the strong I kind of, I kind of ran out of time, so I figured out my plan. So my plan, I figured out this plan just by just a little bit, a little bit too long. My plan, I should have done this because I need them to draw a puff cap. There we go. They draw a puff cap, and then we frostbite their team. And so I should have blocked the Vega in there with that plan. I would have taken an additional four damage, but that nine nine would have been out of here. Well, okay, good thing I didn't. Good thing I saved that four damage. Because I kind of felt like I had to block both of the Avros and Sentries to give them a better chance of drawing. How can they block? They can have collector block here, nine nine block here, 
one one block here. Making two. Yeah, no, this is good. I don't, yeah, because they have to have the 9 9 block edge, Wani, right? And so I need them to take damage first so that the, then their uh, team gets frostbitten. And then the Sejuani. Doesn't die. Ugh. So close. Too much life gain for this Neverglade Collector. That was one of the best Neverglade Collectors I've ever seen. They left me alone. That honestly was. Like, I, I don't think too highly of that card in this metagame, but that was probably the best Neverglade Collector I've ever seen from just the sheer amount of uh, damage it did both ways. Um, I probably did, what, 20 damage? I probably gained them 10 life and dealt 10 to me. Probably. Probably something like that. Yeah, Spooky Mage Seekers is a Thresh. Yeah, Thresh, Lux, all the Mage Seekers. Ooh, getting real aggressive. Playing one mana decimate. We're going to be favored in a long game with double Starlet Seer, double Puff Cap. It's just we may not have a long game. Now, Lux is the Mage Seeker part, you know, it's spooky Mage Seekers. So yeah, Lux isn't spooky, but the Mage Seeker part is. Or like, so Lux is the Mage Seeker, is part of the Mage Seeker part. Didn't, didn't say that too well. Yeah. Um, Lux is part of the Mage Seeker stuff. The spooky part is like the Thresh part. Well... Don't have any removal for Zed. It's not a card I wanted to see. Yeah, that's that's what our that's what we try to do. We try to give Teemo Battle Fury. GG's, good hand. Good hand. Uh, you know, the one mana ephemeral and then the one mana challenger. Uh, uh, turn two, turn three Zed, turn four double shark chariot. Yeah, I mean, I did not have a hand that could stop Zed. You know, these cards don't stop Zed. Problem. I should have won that first game. Should have won that first game. I'm sure I could have done things differently. That game, nah, I, I mean, I, that game I just need to mulligan to look for answers for Zed, I guess. I, I didn't have anything to, to deal with Zed. Another day in the field. I'll scout ahead. 
do really like turn one Teemo. Yeah, not doing anything here. I guess we'll have Mystic Shot, maybe. No. Hey, Cabo. Yeah, I want to see more Lee Sin decks. Yeah, I liked... I did like the Lee Sin... Um, Twisted Fate deck we played the other day. Quite a bit. One of these am I supposed to kill? Or do I just play Clump of Lumps? What did you find today? Three, three. Three, three matches up well. This gives me the Mushroom Cloud that will level up Teemo. But yeah, some, somebody mentioned Dra yeah, talked about Draven Leeson before. That's that's a deck I am interested in making a Draven Leeson deck. You'll serve me one way or another. Leeson and Fizz. Go spell heavy with with uh, both of those champions caring about from the darkness. Both those champions do care about um how many spells you've played. So they're similar in that regard. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Ooh, quite a collection. You spoil the surprise? Basically, we wanted to make sure to keep Elixir of Iron available to protect. <clears throat> to be able to protect Teemo. Dang. I just drew three puff caps. That means. My double, double up on their puff caps thing isn't going to be as valuable. Um. So like if I if I go chump wump, I could play chump wump and one mushroom cloud, and I would give them eight puff caps. I would give them twenty, so then they'd have forty instead of just going up to twenty four. You know, so that gives them an additional sixteen puff caps by playing the chump wump, which is a lot of puff caps. But wolf rider is probably the better play. Getting the additional mana. I don't know. I don't know though. Like that's, you know, 16 puff caps is a lot. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to be doing. Looks like they have 40 instead of 24. If they're out there, I'll spark. 
which that can just continually add. Um, you know, the next, you know, the next time I hit with Teemo. Five and put me down to five. We just need like a withering whale. <laughs> That's what we need here is just <clears throat> like one withering whale in these games. Void Rose, welcome. I'm worried that I don't have Elixir of Iron Mana anymore for this Teemo. I am worried about that. <clears throat> I am worried about that. I just took five Puff Caps. Which was a good thing of giving them all those Puff Caps first. Alright, come on, pass turn. Let me untap. Yay! Mm. Didn't take any, any damage. Um... You own what you take. So I think I want them to draw cards, right? Like that's... That's it. something that's desirable for me. So I want this Avaros and Sentry to block. The thing, all the all that attacking with these do is it just lets them block with more things and have more things die in case they have um, they who endure. So those two probably just don't even need to attack. That's all that is. That that's all that is is just they get more things to die for they who enter. This you know could do some damage. I guess it's only one damage, but I guess two damage. Or it should level up. I wonder if they just drew that or if they had that last turn, and they just let me. Oh no! Oh man, I wish they would have let that happen. We survive. So we could see all the puff caps that they were gonna get. Yeah, bring me chaos. Sajwani, real good. All right, so we're one and two. All right, turn one Teemo again. 
Vimerdinger. Mystic Shot can get rid of, like, a Shadow Assassin, which can be, like, bothering my Teemo. Does that mean that I should keep it? Because if they just, if they have, like, Solitary Monk, then I'll be looking at my... Uh, I think that means we still just mulligan it. I'll keep this babbling Bjerg. They'll draw me Sejuani. Oh, dang. Well, that's a good curve. Um, Maybe I wait on Teemo? Wait for Teemo to be leveled up? Nah, let's start getting puffed out. Can't wait on Teemo. Teemo's too cool to wait. Hey, after wizard. So yeah, it was gonna be lethal anyway, what we just had there. Well, I have no spells to go along with all of these cards, no spells. Um, Omen Hawk and Starlet Seer or Peddler. Omen Hawk's good to get down early too, so we'll double spell. Alright, it's a spell at least. <clears throat> Not one that we're playing right now. Well, we still, the curve dream, we still ended up in the same spot that we would have been. But we got the, you know, we didn't play any spells, but we got the Omen Hawk and play a turn earlier in case we would have drawn a unit. they made that trade. One girl wrecking crew. It's a pretty surprising trade. Yeah, both Heimerd Heimerdinger and Vi are pretty annoying, aren't they? I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't really even reliably like harsh wins to stop the Vi, because then all they like if they're gonna Vi challenge Teemo, because then all they need to do is just play another spell. And I can't Battle Fury save Teemo. Shut up! 
looking for me? All right, one and three. This game is over. Assuming that they have a bunch of spells, they're going to be winning this. It's a fair assumption. I don't want to play something and then and they play other spells to punish me with it. Just uh, take that, I suppose. Getting a Vi out of here is really nice. But. We're still Heimerdinger. If mushrooms could talk, they would say, Why is my opponent not drawing me? We gave him 10. They're casting Progress Day and they're not drawing any. I guess if each one of these would be 11 puff caps with two peddlers. I don't know. Maybe we can give them just a ton of puff caps and they get really unlucky with drawing puff caps. Yeah, we're playing Teemo and Sejuani, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. That's what I'm trying for. And yeah, I'm, so I, I'm glad they didn't do this like pre combat. Probably gonna need at least two more draws to kill me. Probably. Yeah. Any more than that. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully Harsh Winds could also buy us a turn. That would be really nice. Caps. Just 
just one. Any more than that. Excuse you. Would a mushroom help? This is my peddler dying. I guess I probably don't want my peddler to die, do I? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I, uh, At this point, it doesn't—it really doesn't matter if Heimerdinger lives or dies. Right now. Kempuk, Kempunk Kent, Chemist? In this kind of deck? This Kempunk Chemist do? Yeah, the Peddler matters because we just gave him more Puff Caps and we can give him more Puff Caps here. Hmm, wish I could Battle Fury and just protect it. Resolve, resolve, resolve. Okay, so the pickpocket. No. Yeah, resolve. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Kempunk pickpocket's great. Yeah, I mean that that card's that's definitely a really underrated card. Why would you ever play a 2 2 when you have a 5 2 Fierce up? Yes, yes, what? Okay, I just wanted to play the 2 2, I guess. No! Any more? Come on. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No! 4. So close. Mystic shot through the heart. Hammerding was too late. No, we were denied. A sad day. Uh. One more puff cap. One more. We were so close. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So the... Yeah, I, I do like that card. I, I don't think that... I don't know if we really need more... Like, another good two-drop, though. That hasn't really been something that we're struggling with. I think this deck's really good. Like, yes, I'm one and three, but I do think this deck's really good. We haven't had things go our way. But it's been, like, us us not having, like, the interaction for them. If that makes sense. That's what it's felt like. I probably shouldn't even keep Wolf Rider, should I? No. Yeah, playing against a Nivea, you don't see that very often. What would we if we if we put Pickpocket in? Oh yeah, I mean we could play Pickpocket instead of Clump of Lumps. Clump of Lumps is whatever. Pickpocket's a better card. Clump of Lumps is just kinda fits our um our puff cap thing. But yeah, pickpocket's a lot better than clump of lumps. So we could do that. You can see the Devastian border from here. For the homestead. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm surprised we got that close to, with that game, honestly. Like, I, I don't think that we should have even been that close to winning that game. Uh, this is messy. Leave your bags at the door. All right, well, we hit the best card we could. No, Pickpocket doesn't draw cards from the opponent's deck. It, it creates a copy of a spell in the opponent's deck. So, no, you won't get Puff Caps from Pickpocket. Stay away while you can. Yeah, my opponent cast him. I gave him 10 Puff Caps early like with two team attacks early on and they played that progress day and drew zero puff caps from the from like their first couple of draws and progress day you know so like that progress day what was that turn i mean that was probably like turn six and they still hadn't drawn a puff cap yet even though i hit him twice with teemo right away so like if they drew one puff cap in all of that time you know we put him down to one we would have had him I got ways to find in my we're so close Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, pickpocket. Nexus Strike, create in hand an exact copy of a random spell. So it creates an exact copy. That is not. That is not drawing. We fight for one frail yard. All right, so we're down to 10. my turn for the Sejuani. This would be a good winter. Just ca cast some spells for the Starlet's here. Alright, so they got a 30-20. 30 size deck, 20 cards. 20 puff caps, sorry. 30 cards, 20 puff caps. Avalanche? Oh no, I was thinking make it rain. Ugh. Well, that's all right. There we go. Gave them all the puff caps before they drew with Avaros and Sentry. Smart. All right, so now the Gangplank will be easier to take out with this 12-13 Sejuani that we just made. Pain is that's pretty big. Good thing we have the Elixir of Iron to protect it, too. That's probably necessary. No! Flash freeze! Ugh. 
All right, well, they're down to three cards. I mean, I guess I discard Elixir of Iron to get excited to, to try to kill Gangplank. Show them our teeth. They probably have another Frostbite spell, right? Or will this just happen? I should probably Elixir of Iron. Or, you know, do this. I should probably do this. Let's see. We're at three out of five. Coward. I probably have another Gangplank, right? That one's now leveled up. Your king has returned. Should get excited at the first one. Get some more puff caps. They're not drawn enough. Alright, so that's four. What? What are they doing? I don't I don't even understand what they're doing here. I honestly don't understand what they're doing with that play. They can just have Parlay target me and do two damage to me. I don't understand. No, they didn't draw a puff cap. I need them to draw a puff cap to level up my Sejuani. Frostbite again. The calm before the storm. They are going to have Frostbite again. I need to start drawing puff caps and not, and stop frostbiting my Sejuani. Those two things. I need those two things to happen. Start drawing puff caps and stop frostbiting Sejuani. Alright, puff caps drawn. So now all of their allies um, will do double zero damage. At least these ones here, they'll do double zero. Cut him off. He's been a 
fun guy. So they can't attack and do two to everything, but then I get to block with Sejuani. No attacks. Puff caps. Alright, no frostbite. No frostbite. Come on. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just attack with these other two anyway, also. Because these are zero eights, but whatever. All right, no frostbite. That's good. I guess I could have waited and had them die to a puff cap. Guess we could have done that. Fraliord is definitely not the weakest region anymore. It was probably before the before the patch or like before before the new set came out. But no, with with Sejuani, Sejuani is really strong. I think Freljord is one of the best regions. Um, cause, yeah, like Sejuani is just awesome. Uh, you know, like the Sejuani Misfortune decks in a lot of spots. It, there's a lot of Freljord around now. Um, it's yeah, Freljord is really good. But yeah, okay, so yeah, I like Fima, I like your suggestion of probably playing uh pickpocket instead of clump of wumps. Clump of wumps is, is like kinda cool with the uh you know, with like the with like the puff caps, like just getting a spell for your Starlet Seer and your Peddler. Like it so it does have like some good synergy with these two. But pickpocket is just a much better card. This is a card that um uh as I've mentioned before playing this, it's it's an underplayed card. It's just a lot of times it's going to be just a 3-2 that trades with other things, and that's okay. It's it's not bad. Like, it's it's a right on curve of a 2-mana 3-2. Like, that's a strong card. However, when you do get the Nexus Strike and you get to create a random spell in your hand, it starts turning into a really, really good card. You know, like, you, you can just steal games with Kempunk Pickpocket. It can really turn the, the tide of different games. So it has like a, a huge upside and the floor isn't bad either. Like the floor, it's, you know, it, it eats, you know, trades with like a mystic shot or like trades with another, you know, uh, two mana, three, two from the other side and stuff like that. It's one you don't have to be scared of getting into combat with this card. It's okay to trade it off where like you really don't want your Starlet Seer and your Peddler to die. If this dies, it's it's okay. And it can trade up, you know, it can trade with a lease, uh, which is really nice for a two drop. Uh, but it does have the... It does have like the the huge um, upside to it. Um, so yeah, I, I like I like that change. I mean, it, this is pickpocket's a whole lot better card. The only reason to play clump Wumps is getting the spell to trigger Starlet Seer and Peddler, um, and then of course help level up Teemo. So like it like clump Wumps has that synergy, but then once you have that synergy, then you're just sitting and looking at like a two two that like really doesn't do anything it's just a crappy 2-2 you're, you're probably just gonna block something bigger with this card and it's gonna die or this is like an actual good card and threat on its own and that's that's a good that's a good thing to have in decks is put good cards in your deck um that's a good th good thing all right so yeah so not not the best record today but we had a, a lot of things kind of or, you know, like, we had some things go wrong with some of those losses. This this is a deck that I think is really strong, and it's one of my favorite to play, because I just, I like playing Teemo a lot, and I like playing Sejuani. I mean, I, I do really like Puffcat Peddler and Starlet Seer. Like, these are my kind of cards, so um, this is definitely a fun deck to play, and one that I recommend. All right, anyway, that's it here for Puff Cap Plunder. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.